Hello, my name is Mila, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my March TBR. The first book I have here is one that I am currently in the middle of, and I'm loving. I think I'm on page 57, so I don't know if it counts as the middle, but I've started it! I've started it! And that is The Young Elites by Marie Lu! Yay! This book has been in so many TBR videos, but I promise guys this will be the last one because I am reading it now and I'm loving it, I'm loving it. It's really creepy and twisted, which it's pretty dark. So if you guys don't know, this book is a fantasy book. It's about this girl named Adelina. I believe that's how you say her name. That's how I'm going to say her name. And basically she has had a pretty rough past. There has been this illness that has swept through this entire kingdom or whatever the heck it is. And a lot of those people who have had this illness they haven't survived it and out of her family only herself and her sister have survived this illness Adelina's mother passed away and basically Adelina and her sister have been living on with her father her father is really abusive I mean that's no spoiler her past is pretty freaking scary we get a glimpse of it in the first chapter so basically Adelina has to decide whether to rebel and stick up for those people who are like her who have basically have these side effects of this illness, these powers, these markings to embrace her nature and accept what she is and what she's becoming or live a life in shadows and hide away where no one can find her. The next book I have here is something that's a little bit more lighthearted and that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is my first Jenny Han book. I caught a glimpse of her writing style in My True Love Gave to Me. I really liked her short story. Anyways, this book is a contemporary about this girl, Lara Jean. Hey, Lara, she writes letters to all the boys that she's had crushes on or that she's loved before. And she keeps them in this little box and she doesn't ever share these letters with them because she doesn't want to be embarrassed. Why would she? She doesn't want to spill out her feelings for people that she doesn't really know. It's now there for their eyes to read. Everyone on booktube has been raving about this book. They say it's so cute and awesomely adorable and sweet and funny and I'm really really excited to get into this book. The next book I have here is another darker book but I'm super excited about it because of the title. The title just sounds amazing. The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett. I only know a little bit about this book, but what I do know sounds super intriguing, so I'm just going to read you off a little snippet. 16-year-old Dusty Everhart breaks into houses late at night, but not because she's a criminal. No, she's a nightmare. Literally. Does that not sound freaking awesome? A literal nightmare. This girl, she's a literal nightmare. I don't know why that's so intriguing to me, but it is, and I'm really, really excited to read this book. The next book I have here is a fantasy novel. It's actually a middle grade novel, but it's fantasy. Fantasy is my favorite genre, so I'm super excited about it. What? That's not a book. The Magical Ventures of Lolly and Lenny, Volume 3 of The Secret Code of Magicians. Ooh. I don't know too much about this book, only that it's a middle grade fantasy. There's a magic school. It's about this kid, Lenny, and this girl, Lolly and they find magic. There's just something about middle grade fantasies that I just love. The next book I have here is one that I don't know if it could be more hyped up on booktube and that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Yes, I'm the last person on earth who hasn't read this book. <laughs> That's really sad, but it's okay because I'm super excited for this book. It's a fairy tale retelling. I'm sure you guys all know what it's about, but just in case, it's about this girl named Cinder. Cinder lives in New Beijing. She's a cyborg and I really don't need to know more than that because this just sounds awesome. I can't think of one person who does not like this book so I do have pretty high expectations. I, I love re fairy tales and fairy tale retellings and anything fantasy. Just fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Fantasy is life. Except that it's not. Chocolate is life. Books are life. The next book I want to read is a book that I actually don't have on me right now, but I'm hoping to get really soon, and that is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and I'm super excited about this book. It has been everywhere for ever since it's, ever since it's come out, and the Reds, they are poverty-stricken commoners. They are just your ordinary people, you're poor, and then there are the Silvers who are like strong, elite warriors. They are godlike figures to these people. The story follows a 17 year old girl named Maron and she serves these silvers, these godlike people. 
and she could not despise them more. I mean, they're living in this grand place, they are strong, they are godlike, while they're well, the rest of the people, the Reds, they're just in poverty. No one cares about them, but then there's the Silvers. But there's just one itty-bitty thing. Maron, unlike the other Reds, but like the Silvers, she has a special ability. She has power, enough power to destroy the Silvers once and for all. If that doesn't hook you, then I don't know what will. I, am, I really want to read this book. I hope I get to it. Next, I have another book that I actually don't have a physical copy of, and that is We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sandquist. And I'm super excited about this book. If you guys don't know, this is the Book Explosion Book of the Month. I actually have this book on audiobook. Quick side note, I love audiobooks. I mean, when you don't have time to pick up an actual book and read it, you just put on your earphones, listen to the audiobook, and you could do so many other things, but still get a story in your mind. It's amazing. I love audiobooks. I love audiobooks. Audiobooks are great. And you guys might be thinking, well, Mila, how are you going to read all these books? And, well, all my fellow book lovers, I did not have an answer for that. Somehow, I'm going to plow through all these books. Yes. So those are all the books that I am planning on reading this March. I'm hoping to get through all of them because I'm really excited about all of them. I mean, why would I read them if I'm not excited about them? But these ones, they sound super awesome and I can't wait to read them. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up in the comments below and let me know what you guys are reading this March. And if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think about them. I'm super excited to read them all. If any of you guys are reading The Young Elites by Marie Lu, let me know what you think of it so far because I'm really excited to finish this. And yeah. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! The first book I have here is one of that I am currently in the middle of. I'm a... If you don't know, this book is a... Go read it. Go read it. That wasn't creepy. I'll never be wrong. The next book I have here is one that's a little bit more red. Why can't I say that word? Light hearted. Light hearted. I got this. Yeah. It died. Largine. 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 Even know where that came from. <laughs> Lara, L A R A. Lara. Lara. Sounds like I have an accent. I know. I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. Fantasy is my favorite genre. If you don't know this by now, now you know. Now you know. Know it.